So, over time, we have come to the realization that humans can have a major effect on biodiversity and the wildlife around us. And historically, it all began uh, back in the days when uh, there was unlimited hunting and people started re realizing that if we didn't do something, there wouldn't be resources available to harvest. And so, so, so they started passing regulations related to hunting and uh, commercially, uh, not commercially, but hunting um, type species, and, you know, so the seasons and the idea was so that you could maximize the number of animals to kill. But eventually, over time, throughout history, we had this history of, of developing regulate, more and more regulations related to wildlife. And finally, in 1973, they not, it was not only, uh, did not only were we thinking in terms of protecting the har harvested species, but the, the protection, the idea came that we need these other things, we need to protect these other things well. And so in 1973, we passed the Endangered Species Act. And um, basically, this was a, a, an act that was put in place that would protect, um, prevent, and what's the goal of it was to prevent extinction. So, so the goal of the Endangered Species Act was to prevent extinction. And the way that they did this is they came up with some designations. Um, the animals that were close to extinction or that would likely become extinct were classified as endangered. So any, any organisms, any animals, um, like the bald eagle was one that was an endangered species. It came real close to becoming extinct. And then they had another designation where, uh, which they called threatened. And these were species that were, their population trajectories, trajectories were going in a south, they were going down. And they were, um, the definition of threatened means that it might in the near future become endangered. So we had these designations that were part of this act that was passed in 1973. Well, it ends up, there's an organization in Tennessee, it's a uh, electric power type organization, and it's called the Tennessee Valley Authority. And they generate electric power, and one of the ways that they were, were doing this was by building dams and having hydroelectric dams uh, to produce power. And oftentimes, it, and it would produce a lake. Of course, you'd have a stream that would become a lake. Now, oftentimes with these kinds of things, the people that own property up in the mountains or wherever this was, um, they want the lake because instead of just having some property up in the woods in the mountain, they now will have waterfront property. And so there was a lot of sort of political um, pressure to, to pre create dams under the under the guise of um, to produce electricity, but it was really so that these people would have waterfront property. And so there was a lot of dams that were being built at the same time that the Endangered Species Act was in it was um, ratified and, and went into effect. And so right as this happened, there was a dam on a river. I think it's the Clinch River. I, 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 not sure, but anyway, it was a river in Tennessee that was nearing completion. They spent $50 million building this dam. And all of a sudden, the environmental groups that hated that they were destroying this river, they said, great, we now have a, a law. We can go after them. We can stop this dam. And so they did. They took them to court. And it was all because, how did, how did they justify taking them to court? It was a little bitty fish. It's called the snail darter. It's a fish. It's a minnow. And um, it was classified as endangered. And it was in that river. 
And so the, the, so the environmental groups thought, yay, we're going to stop this process. Well, you know what happened? Didn't stop it. The courts ruled that because TVA had already spent $50 million or whatever it was, a huge amount of money building this dam that was almost done, they let them complete it. And so, so this brought up another question. How are we going to enforce, how are we going to make these decisions, you know, instead of everything ended up at court? Um, they came up with this idea of the God Squad. God. What does that mean? Think about God. God has the power over life and death. And it was a, a, a congressional committee that provided oversight with, on the in, Endangered Species Act to decide which, you know, how to enforce the endangered species. 